Good afternoon, everybody. This is Fago Franklin III with New Stitch Media. Today, I am joined by Damon Fieldman, who is the CEO of Celebrity Boxing and the author of 16 Minute Men. First and foremost, how you doing today? Good. Thanks for having me on. How you been? Ah, uh, been working, man. I've been tired almost, man. It's been a yeah. long. Day. <laughs> hey, where are you? I'm in Virginia right now. How about are you yourself? In Virginia. Virginia? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I'm in. Uh, I'm in Philly. I thought okay. I thought you were in the West Coast for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually reside out in Seattle. I'm just out here for family issues, so I decided okay. to come here and visit my family. I've been out here since the holidays. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, that's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're going to stick right there. Um, first and foremost, can you give some words of advice to my viewers that are watching right now? Just never quit, never surrender. How's that? Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, so you keep see, moving. Keep moving. Um, never strive always to be better, be a, become a better leader each and every day. So with Keep that, your vision and determination. Yes, sir. With that said, we're going to jump into your journey. So what inspired you to kind of start your business? Well, I'm the undefeated professional fighter. My career ended shortly because I was injured in an out-of-the-ring accident. I could have continued, but just lost interest. I was a young guy, like, you know, 20 years ago, so... I got the opportunity to be a promoter. I had this niche, celebrity boxing, and um, that's pretty much it. That's, that's where it started, being a promoter. You became a celebrity boxing you know, CEO, creator. Oh. Mm. So what is the difficult aspects with promoting yourself as well as branding your business? Well, I used to be all about promoting me. Like I wanted fame, all that. Now it's not that. I want the green, the money, and uh, – but more or less, uh, I really want a legacy. And then I've been building my legacy uh, pretty strongly lately, as you see. And um, mm. I'm really excited about this, man. You know, like I'm, I, I hit a brick wall a couple of years ago, five years ago, drinking, I was depressed, messed up, you know, stupid mistake, put me, uh, held me up for 13 months, got out, you know, did my thing. And this is where I'm at now. You know, I'm on the, almost on the top of my game. I have a great, you know, support team with my CEO, Mark Sharoke, the attorney, Jackie Barr. Just guys like Marty Judge. Just a lot of uh, Candace Barr. Great people behind me right now. And the future looks really bright. What does it mean to you to have those type of positive influences that will actually um, be in your corner and, and try to get you to that next level to become a better leader, a better man each and every day? It's unbelievable. I'll tell you that. It's just unreal. It's uh, to be able to have like a cool support team. I never knew that. I always like it's a one man show. It didn't matter. But having a support team behind me that has a lot of confidence in me and, you know, they know I make things happen. It's just unreal, man. It really is. And, uh, you know, I'm a guy who cares about people's life and careers and, and their lives more and seeing them happy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What advice can you give people who are dealing with those type of issues, mental depression, mental illness? Um, what advice can you give those individuals? Well, definitely get to the gym. Get, you know, hit up fitness a little. Or take a walk if you're thinking mad. Don't don't lay in bed. Don't lay there thinking and dwelling on things. Try to get out there. Try to make things happen. And, uh, you know, write your goals down and follow your goals. That's the main thing. And, you know, keep a good vision with things. And uh, you, anybody can make anything they want happen. As long as they put their mind to it and they have a will. Um, not everything's about money. Money does make things happen. But the money comes when you stay, you know, determined and get to the point where people, you know, are begging you or want you part of what they do. And it's a pretty good feeling. What have you learned about yourself as well as helped your business grow during this uh, pandemic? Um, well, what I learned about myself is that I'm getting more patient and um, that I, I really, I have something huge here right now with celebrity boxing and, you know, it's, I just have a great career. I thank God every day, you know, for this opportunity to just really be a father and, you know, take care of my kids and being able to be like a um, role model to people to help them push themselves. They see a guy like me, push himself. A guy like me could do it. You could do it. Amen to that. Um, now, we know Lamar Odom has a match in a couple of months. What inspired that, and who is he actually fighting? Well, we're, I have to wait because of confidentiality. We're going to announce the opponent soon. Um, but right now he's training with um, 
Xavier Biggs, who trains Kevin Hart, Usher. Um, it's awesome, man. It really is. It's like he's a guy I always liked from the TV show and getting to know him. He's just a phenomenal guy. And his manager um, is, is unbelievable, savvy consulting. And uh, her her name is um, Tanita. She just does a phenomenal job. And he has a good support group behind him. I don't think he had that when he was on the show and, you know, before. And Lamar Odom's going to do some big things in life. Amen to that. Um, you have a book out. Uh, what inspired you to write your book, 16 Minutes? Um, yeah, so I always, I don't know, you know, I hit that brick wall and I was, you know, just in a weird spot in my life. And I think that's where basically I did, you know I mean? I, um, I just want, I had time on my hands and I figured, I know I have a story. Let me just tell the world about it. So funny thing is I wrote the book, got out, uh, Sporty Smith, his name is, and Angel Miller, they put the book together. And the bottom mm -hmm. line is I never read it yet, but, uh, I just feel like I let everything out of my life. And there's going to be a part two, definitely, because my new, uh, my new journey is, is really, uh, taking off right now. So. Mm -hmm. What um, what tips can you give people about overcoming their fears as well as their obstacles in any type of life that they're or either dream that they're trying to go towards? Well, you have to definitely, you know, you're gonna have you're gonna hit brick walls in the world. Number one thing to try to not hit brick walls. Really, honestly, do yourself a favor. Don't drink. Uh, there, it's it's not worth it. I, I thought that was my way out, and mm -hmm. you just people got to just really focus, like. You know, you have something, just go after it because you can make it happen. And it's all about the determination, dedication, and keeping the focus and vision. And don't let anybody, no matter what anybody says, I never listen to anybody as far as negative-wise. I listen to it because it motivated me to want to be better. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're building this brand for 20-plus years. How have you been able to balance building your brand as well as family life? Well... To be honest with you, I grew up recently, you know what I mean? Like in the last five years, uh, made me really understand things. And so I, I didn't have a normal life growing up, you know, two, two boxers helped raise me. Uh, when my mom got injured, she was a quadriplegic in a wheelchair. So Frank, the animal Fletcher and Anthony two gun Fletcher, who was just on death row, actually just got, you know, he was, the case was a little messed up, but he was just released looking forward to seeing him. And he was a guy who, uh, gave his heart and his brother gave his heart for me and my brother and helping my dad in, you know, raising us. And it was a real amazing feeling. So I learned a lot from that. And um, this journey has been unbelievable. What are the key factors we're building? We're building a successful brand in business. Stick to what you're doing. Come up with a niche, which I did. And nowadays, nothing's going to be done by the book. You got to think out of the box. And you got to come up with like a cool idea, stick with it. Because if it's the right idea, it would, it would sells, you know, it's going to work. And, you know, like what I have, celebrity boxing, people love to get the ring. They want to see them, you know, beat each other up. Mm -hmm. So how do you negotiate your prices as well? And as well as knowing what you, what your value brings to the table? See, so I it made me understand it a little better. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, how do you how do you negotiate what you bring to the table for in order for all these individuals to be a part of your brand? Um, how do I choose? Like basically, yes, ma'am. No. I mean, yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know who who really works for me is a person has a redemption story, a comeback story, like Lamar Odom. You know, like the other guys I have, like Joe Judice, Aaron Carter, any of the people that really in Bobble Slurry Boxing, they've had a comeback story, just like I do. I love doing that. And, you know, it's sort of like turning train wrecks into, like, stars again. And it's give, it, I give them their 16th minute. And people like wild and crazy things. And when I have two celebrities in the ring against each other, it tends to sell big media uh, sponsors and ticket sales. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to switch into football. Um, who are you picking right now? Are you picking Tom Brady or are you picking, <laughs> you know, the the young gentleman by Patrick Mahomes? Who do you have? Well, I love uh, Patrick, man. He, dude, that guy, he's he's definitely the future. 
but you got to pull for Tom Brady. It's, I, this is his last. I, I don't care. If he keeps doing his career after this, it should be it. If he wins this one, that's to be it. But um, I'm going for Pat Brady because I just want to see him do it one more time. And it, it's just, you know, it's, it's a feat that no one could do. And he's doing it. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. he's another comeback guy. Everybody thought it was over for him. Look at this guy now. So, yeah, I'd like to see Brady do it. Okay. Um, how do you personally feel that women are getting more opportunities, not just in the NFL, uh, to pursue their dreams in the executive world, but um, around the globe? Well, I um, that's amazing. It's just amazing because we have a women of celebrity boxing, some great women, a part of us, Jenny Sushi, Angela Gatone, Gail Casper. We have some awesome women, part of us, uh, Maria Escobar, Stephanie Balbasara, and Christine Curran. They're all part of celebrity boxing, and it's great because it's turning into showing, just like Kamala Harris. You know, she's the woman, she's she's the second in charge in the world right now, and it's like, uh, it's pretty cool to see, you know what I mean? Like, you want to see, I love seeing women, I love seeing anyone succeed, but I'm more, you know, into the women because, you know, what happened to my mom, I guess, and I love women that succeed, and there's nothing more that I like to see it than a woman. Um, achieve a goal or something that like a, a guy could do or anything anybody could do. It's, it's just amazing. So yeah, I, I love seeing women succeed. It's incredible. How do we as Americans come together and unify? Because last year we just saw so many hit, uh, horrific tragedies, um, a lot of segregation. So how do we come together as a country? Well, you have to understand that, you know, people should just understand that, you know, First of all, I don't see color. And if, if you see color or see, I don't care who, if it's white, black, green, yellow, Spanish, whatever, mm. you just got to look at everyone as, one, as, as you. You know what I mean? If you look at everyone else like they're you, it'll be a lot better. You just got to go through it that way and can't discriminate. And, you know, that's all we have to do is push forward, come together, because that's what it's going to have to be nowadays. You can't think day by day like, everything's going to be step by step like you know it's supposed to be you have to think out of the box and um yeah i just think if everybody can really just look at each other and you know give each other a hug and say look let's all work together that would that would be amazing so growing up who was one of your favorite boxers as a young kid um definitely mike tyson um ali was awesome uh and my dad was my idol. He was a fighter. He was a, you know, trained six world boxing champions, but, uh, he loved to like Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard was awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So a lot of people are asking, is your, is your boxing, um, organization is going to be something similar to what Mike Tyson is doing just on, so on the scale of celebrities? Well, remember, Mike's doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Not being oh, okay. no. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. But remember, you know, no, all due respect, Mike's awesome, man. Um, you know, we we are celebrity boxing for the last 18 years, and you know, 20 years ago when we started, and um, no, I mean, it's a little different, man. I have my own niche, and I, I won't let that go now, especially seeing everything, especially Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul was. I have something no one else has because I it's it's more than just two celebrities stepping a ring with each other. Uh, there's there's passion behind it. There's well, you know, selling part parts behind it, and mm-hmm. it's a lot more than just having two guys in the ring with each other. Legends it's, it has to be done the right way. Hey Amen. I agree to that. Um, and lastly, where can my viewers actually find um, you on social media? Uh, you can go to, you know, Instagram's the best place, uh, at Celebrity Boxing One. That's the official Celebrity Boxing Instagram, and uh, that's where I'm at. Hey, Amen. Uh, thank you for definitely joining me. Everybody, I know, you know, we are very limited right now, but you can yeah. always find my uh, interviews on Instagram, which is Super Journalist 87, Fago Franklin III on Facebook, Fago III, the Frank, ah, Fago Franklin III on LinkedIn. Or you could just uh, Google me on my on the search engine, put Fago Franklin third, and then everything will pop up. Thank you again for joining me, and definitely have a blessed one. Hey, thanks for your interview, man. I'll tell you, it was one of the best because you you're so diverse.